shows that many of the animals that lived here during the Ice Age still inhabit the Black Hills today. Rabbits, ground squirrels, prairie dogs, gophers, deer mouse, bushy-tailed wood rats, voles, moles, coyote, mink, and pronghorn. Others that lived here, such as short-faced bears, shrub hawks, lavas, and Colombian and woolly mammoths are now extinct. The Colombian mammoth and woolly mammoth represent the largest species discovered at the mammoth site, with the Colombian mammoth being the more common of the two species. Both Colombian and woolly mammoths share an ancestor with today's elephants. As populations of mammoths made the 3 million year migration from Africa into Europe, Asia and North America, they gradually changed, becoming the iconic Ice Age animals whose fossils could be seen here today. They eventually became extinct thousands of years after this sinkhole was formed, though the reason why is still hotly debated. In 1974, a contractor named Phil Anderson purchased the surrounding land with plans to create a housing development. The hill was considered an eyesore and was slated to be torn down. When bones, teeth, and tusks were uncovered by bulldozing, Mr. Anderson immediately recognized their importance and stopped construction. He contacted Dr. Larry Eggenbrot at Chagrin State College, who began scientific investigations. Dr. Eggenbrot, seeing the unique potential of this mammoth deposit, recommended the site be preserved in place. Phil Anderson then sold the land at cost to the newly formed nonprofit. The mammoth site of Hot Springs, SD8. The mammoth site is a working paleontological site, and the task of excavating, discovering, and preserving this wealth of Ice Age information continues today. As an insult to excavation, digging is undertaken with great care. Tools such as trowels, dental picks, and paintbrushes are favored in order to avoid damage to bones. Many specimens are left exposed in the ground in order to allow visitors and scientists to see exactly where the bones have been uncovered. All specimens of the mammoth site are documented using state-of-the-art mapping techniques. This data is used for both managing the collection of fossils and analyzing the spatial relationship of the specimens at the site. The mammoth bones that you will see are only one aspect of this 140,000-year-old story. The very sediments our diggers excavate provide a rich source of information. This comes in the form of the smaller bones of rodents, rabbits, fish, and amphibians, as well as the shells of snails, clams, insects, and crustaceans. These fossils are best recovered through screen washing, a process where sediments from the site are passed through smaller and smaller sieves with water. This process gently separates the smaller rocks and fossils from the sinkhole sediments. With a trained eye and a reasonable amount of time, mammoth site scientists, interns, and volunteers are able to collect, record, and analyze these very important microfossils, which provide valuable information about past environmental conditions. The bones of the mammoth site are very fragile. They are not petrified or turned to stone like dinosaur bones. Mammoth site bones have had the original organic molecules leached out by soaking in the warm water and thus are very dry. All of the bones you will see in the sinkhole have been treated with preservatives to prevent them from damage and deterioration. We sometimes remove fossils for scientific study or for preservation concerns. When this is done, a plaster field jacket is put around the bone for protection much of the same way a plaster cast is used to protect a broken arm bone. Once a bone is removed, it takes a short journey downstairs to the laboratory. Here, the bones are gently cleaned, repaired, and treated with preservatives. Most of the work is done by hand. Hard sediment crust is removed from the bone using air tools that slowly chip away sediment like miniature jackhammers. After a bone has been completely prepared, it is moved to our bone storage vault, where they can be studied by paleontologists from the mammoth site and other institutions and universities. All mammoth site specimens are stored here on site, 
but our molding and casting department does make replicas of our bones that we send to scientists and educators all over the world. Due to the quantity, diversity, and quality of the fossils preserved here, the Mammoth Site is without equal in North America. The Mammoth Site is one of the very few displays of fossil mammoths in North America, where their remains have been left in place, and it is clearly the largest. Containing remains of more than 60 mammoths, the site is a treasure chest for all who come from around the world to participate in research and learning. For those of you who would like to learn more about our work here, the Mammoth Site offers a wide variety of educational programs, including our Mammoth Site Excavation and Preservation Program. Ask any employee for more specific information. And now, we invite you to experience first-hand the vestiges.